Trying to accurately age a deer on the hoof can be difficult, especially when you don't have the history with that animal. Essentially, the history with that deer is the best indication to knowing that deer's exact age. But when you don't have it, there are ways that you can come close. Contrary to popular belief, antler size, the number of tines, and the configuration is not a good indication of age. We've had deer grow their biggest and their gnarliest racks at three and four years old. We've also had deer peak at 10 years old. So using antler size and antler configuration is not an accurate way to age a deer. Rather, we're going to use body characteristics to try to get an accurate age on that deer. So young deer, those one to two year old bucks, they're going to have a tight waist. They're going to essentially look like a doe with antlers. They're going to have a larger rear end than their front end. A two to three year old buck, as they grow up, he's still going to be long and lanky. He's going to have the long legs that look too long for his body. He's still going to have a larger rear end than his front end and still be quite tight in the waist. At four years old, that deer's starting to grow up. So now his hind and his front end are starting to match more. His brisket's going to start to round out a little bit and be less pronounced. When you get into that five year old age class, now you've got a large proportion deer. He's got a big chest, huge swelling and massive shoulders in the rut. And that brisket again is going to continue rounding out and become less pronounced. Now when you get into that six plus year old age class, it starts to get really difficult to nail down how old that deer is. You've got a large bodied animal with a big chest, even larger and more powerful and a big neck in the rut. They start to get a round belly, a bit of sag in their back, and some of those bucks will even start to get what looks like a Roman nose. Their brisket will have also rounded out and melted into their body to the point that they might now look like they've got a bit of a sagging brisket. Now fully mature and in the prime of his life. Images of these deer are often what we see when we think of kings and legends of the whitetail woods. Now the only way to know exactly how old that deer is is to have the history with that deer. But these are just some tips to help you narrow down and try to determine what age class that buck you're looking at might be in.